I am alone inside of an abandoned days inn. I was on my way back from Cali and my boy Journey with Jay hooked me up with this spot and it just so happened to be I was gonna be parked 15 minutes from it. So I decided to hit it this morning. It's really hot, standing inside an atrium. Pool area, mini golf course, and obviously you can see all the hotel rooms. This place has been pretty trash so far. I don't really know what's left here. We're gonna explore it together, see what we can dig up. But I can tell you one thing, this atrium area is really cool, but at the same time, it's really, really hot inside of here. It's gotta be about 100 degrees inside of here. So if I start sweating, forgive me for getting disgusting on you guys. Let's go check this place out. A mini, mini golf course. When I was a kid, I always liked staying at these atrium hotels. It always seemed like there was more fun going on in the middle. I guess it kind of attracts more attention when it's in the middle and indoors. And nice like this. Because you could tell that this was a pretty nice atrium courtyard area here. Really sucks. This is recently abandoned too. It's only been about, I think about four years. So, yeah, we'll figure that out too. I think it was 2013. Let's see if we can find some calendars. This is the bar and restaurant area to this hotel. The roof above us has completely given up and it's pouring inside of here. It rained hard last night on my way over here. And uh, yeah, you can still see what's going on up top. Kind of feels like this roof can cave in at any moment. So I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. I'm gonna make my way forward.
This place must have been closed up around Christmas time. Still have all the Christmas presents. I don't see any other decorations. Maybe somebody put them here to shoot photos, do whatever. But yeah, this place is pretty trashed right now. It's pretty crazy. Found more evidence of the holidays in this completely wrecked bar area. So yeah, I was right. It was the holidays when this place closed up. You can see all the lights wrapped around the bar handrail here. It's a pretty sweet bar setup for our days in. It was a Sheridan at one time. So I guess a Sheridan's a little bit better of a hotel. So that's why it might've been arranged a little bit differently than other days in. These are the blueprints for this hotel. Tells you a whole layout, atrium, pool area, all that stuff. And then here's a picture right here of the actual hotel still intact. That's the pool area and the atrium. We're behind the front desk in the lobby right now, and it's completely wrecked. There's also some homeless people on the other side of that glass. Probably saw me filming them a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of this back area. It's all wet back here. I guess they were getting ready to put flat screens in at some point in time. These are old TVs. I actually remember having one of these TVs.
I don't know if somebody had set it up like this or it was just left like that. But all the pens and pads are still left here. Like the maid was just here and just left it here like this and everything fell apart right around that kind of neatness, which is really, it's kind of spooky. It's kind of like, it's really kind of creepy that they're just still sitting in almost every room, just like that, bugged out. This hotel has some bad water damage. Basically every ceiling has been caved in or there's black mold all around. So I'm periodically taking off my mask and um, talking to you guys. So, all right. But this place is really badly damaged. The roof is completely gone in some areas and it's just puddling in, pouring in. black mold. So yeah, like I've been saying, this place is pretty trash. Everybody's gotten to it pretty much. Just a quick stop. I want to thank Journey with Jay. I'll leave his link in the description. You guys can go check him out. Say what's up. Um, I'm going to get out of here. Make my way back to New York. Go do some more explores. And I'll catch up with you guys there. Peace.